Hmm. Welcome to our our very first free community Qigong on the first Sundays. And it's a really beautiful time because we are in the season of autumn and we're connecting with the metal element. And so all every session on Sunday, we're going to go deeper into what the metal element offers. And today we're going to connect with the overarching view of the metal element and we're going to connect with our lungs. And I'm going to share with you three breath practices. And then we're going to deepen into those breath practices so that we can then tap into a more open spaciousness in our body. We're going to stretch and create some space. And then once we've stretched and created space, then we'll be able to circulate and drop into the flow, connecting with our breath, connecting with our lungs. And then from there, we'll be able to anchor it and, and bring it into our body so that we can embody and move through life with this new, fresh perspective. So with that, I'd like to just read to you a short passage from this book between Heaven and Earth, A Guide to Chinese Medicine. This is page 117. Okay. Metal. In the lung, the chi of heaven, which is air, joins with the chi of earth, which is nutrition, forming the chi that vitalizes human life. Like a minister who conducts affairs and determines territorial borders, the lungs govern the relationship between inside and outside setting limits and protecting boundaries with restraint and delicacy, expanding and contracting the lung collects, mixes and scatters the chi, instilling rhythm and order. So in each session, we'll learn more about that, but what I want you to hear in this passage is the healthy boundaries that there in our third session, we'll work more with our immune system and that's called Wei Qi, our guardian Qi. And these healthy boundaries, the metal element is very much tied to the part of you that is outside of you as far as it goes. And then it's also tied to the part of you that's the most deepest, deepest center point. And it holds the deepest center point and the farthest point. And it holds that container. And you are within that container. That's what the metal element is. Think of the metal element as the organizing force of the universe. It's, this, it's the part that makes the fractal. You know, we, we're, we live in a holographic fractal, and then the fractal is duplicated into multiple fractals. It's that shape, the structure of the fractal. That's the metal element. Now, how those fractals move and change and do all those things, those are, that's when it interplays with different elements. So... Mm. With that, let's get started with our breathing and our practice. Okay, so I'm going to be, if you needed to, you could sit probably through this whole session, but I'm going to be standing because I'm much more comfortable. So I invite you to find your feet. And before we get started, if, if you need a sip of water, Welcome. As we begin our session, I invite you to just take a deep breath and call yourself fully present here. And when you exhale out, bring your hands and feet together and give a humble bow, emptying your cup. 
And when you're ready, you can take as many breaths as you need to. And as you take these breaths, you are filling your body up with oxygen, with life force, with animating force. You are bringing the part of you that is alive and activating yourself, filling yourself. Mm. Rising, inspired and courageously to the occasion. Mm. And once you feel like you have stood, you've unfurled your spine, you have stood, you can go ahead and step out with your left foot. Mm. And this practice, this practice today is a very simple practice. A very simple practice. We're going to start with deep abdominal breathing. My intention for this practice is centered and cleansed. So let's just start with centering. So bringing your hands to your lower dantian. Your lower dantian is about two finger breaths below your navel and above your pubic bone. And as you bring your hands to your lower dantian, I invite you to gently soften your eyes and bring your breath down to your belly. Bring your awareness to your belly. And when you breathe in, you're expanding your abdomen and when you breathe out, your hands are going back toward your spine. We're going to take a few moments here to really drop into this space. So when you breathe in, feel your entire abdomen expand in the front, in the sides, in the back down at your pelvic floor. And when you exhale, feel all of that come to a center point. Your hands are going back toward your spine. Smooth, deep, soft inhales, expanding your belly and soft exhales, closing. In Qigong, we practice opening. With your inhale and closing. Bringing your mind to your center Where your mind goes, she follows. If you want to be centered, you have to put your mind in your center. Each inhale, your abdomen expands in all directions. And each exhale, the, all the directions pull inward toward the center. And you'll notice with just a few moments of this breath, you start to feel collected, centered, present. This lower dantian center is all about presence. The question you ask yourself when you're breathing in your lower dantian 
is where am I? Ask yourself that, where am I right now? Now we're located in different places on the planet. So I could say I'm right here in Fayetteville, Arkansas. You can say your location. But ultimately, we have the same answer. I'm here. And the reason we can say I am here is because our mind and our breath is here at the same time. Now, let's start to work with our breath even more, bringing one hand up to your chest and one to your abdomen. When you're ready for your next inhale, inhaling that deep abdominal breath and feel your breath rise up from your belly to your ribs, up to your chest. And then when you naturally exhale, notice the air, notice how your chest sinks. The energy goes from chest, ribs to belly. Breathing in, belly, ribs, chest, and chest ribs, belly. With this breath, we're breathing in and out through our nose. The metal element is associated with our lungs and its paired organ, which is large intestine. And it opens in your nose and then it expresses itself through your skin breathing in belly ribs chest feel this energy rise through your body like a wave and out chest ribs belly This is called wave breathing. And now ask yourself, how do I feel? In just a few moments of wave breathing, usually you tend to feel calm. So let's stay with this breath. Belly, ribs, chest. And at the peak, pause. Gently hold the breath until the breath naturally exhales on its own. All the way down to the base. And from there, pause until the breath naturally inhales on its own. Rising, pausing, descending, pausing. And what happens, I'm curious what you sense and feel but what happens with that pause is the breath takes over. And now my awareness mind 
which in Qigong we call our Shen, our observer, is aware that the breath is happening on its own. I'm bringing conscious awareness to it. So in our next session, we'll observe that a little bit more. That's the, where the archetype, the alchemist comes in. The alchemist is aware of what they're working with. But for now, we're gonna simply allow this breath And now we're going to stay with this breath and we're going to add to it. Belly, ribs, chest. And as we're breathing this wave breath, when you inhale, I invite you to inhale beautiful pearly white light. Filling your entire lung, the top, the back, the sides, with your breath as your body opens. Fill this white light, pour down to your the diaphragm and fill your lungs from the bottom to the top. And then at the top, as your body closes, feel this now old energy, this exhale, let release any stagnant energy. So the color might not be pearly white with your exhale. As you inhale, you're breathing in pearly white and as you exhale, it might be darker, gray, black, And so now, so far we've centered ourselves with deep abdominal breathing. And now we've calmed ourselves with wave breathing. And so now let's cleanse and purge and clear ourselves with the clearing breath. So staying with what we're doing, you're gonna inhale belly ribs chest pearly white light through your nose now exhale out through your nose all the way down chest ribs belly all the way down out through your nose and when you make it out through to the bottom exhale the rest out with your mouth inhaling completely belly ribs chest through your nose, exhaling completely, chest, ribs, belly, down to the bottom. And once you make it to the bottom, just exhale out the rest through your mouth. There's a lot more to exhale. Exhale out through your nose all the way down to the bottom and now the rest of your mouth i have a significant amount so now notice how your inhale is there's more you're bringing in more inspiration and now exhaling through your nose all the way down, now through your mouth. White pearly light pouring in all the way down to the bottom, filling up your vessel with white pearly light. And then exhaling through your nose, the old stagnant. And then when you make it to the bottom, the rest of your mouth.
deeper, wider inhales. And exhale, following the wave. And all the way to the bottom. White pearly light. Now exhaling through your nose and your mouth and letting that darker old. One more time. And then exhale. And now you can just lower your hands and just breathe normally. And just sense and feel how simple, how centered, calm, and clear you feel. Mm. Mm. Let's go ahead and pound our chest, our lung point. In autumn, our lungs are really associated to our emotions, sadness and grief, our depression. There's a lot we have to let go of. We know how to do it. We just did it with our breath naturally, but then we attach to things sometimes. Also, our lungs hold... Oh, our lungs are our biggest organ of detoxification. So also in the metal element, it's all about, it's all about releasing and letting go, right? Letting go of toxicity in all forms. If you think about your lungs, you're exhaling carbon dioxide. That is the biggest, they're the biggest organs of detoxification. Your large intestines, you're exhaling all the waste, or you're eliminating all the waste. And then your skin, you're sweating. So to release and detoxify, and then once you can do that, then you can have a really strong immune system. Let's come down over to this uh, side just below your clavicle. And in our third session, we'll really work more on the immune system. And when we work more on the immune system, we will learn these specific points. But for now, just pound here and then just go down the inside of your arm, down toward your thumb. That's where your lung and your large intestine meridians run. And come up the outside, up to the top of your shoulder. And this point right here, metal element, is really great for making decisions and discernment. So this point that we're tapping right here, when you need to clear your mind and make a decision, this is a decision-making point. So come back to your lungs. And down. And then back up. So you can release the old stuff so you can make clear decisions. And we'll just go to the other side. Down the inside of your arm to the thumb. Up the outside, the yang channel, up to your decision-making point. And then down. And up, just one more time, three times total. Back to your chest, uh, on your thymus, this is, back to your immune, this is my mantra, I am strong, my body is strong, every cell in my body is working perfectly. I am inspired by spirit and courageous, I love freely and I release and let go whatever is ready. Whew. 
Mm, sense and feel how your lungs have been activated. Feel the meridian points now tingling, mine are tingling. Mm-hmm, beautiful. Now we'll shake a little bit. <laughs> and we'll shake and we'll do the lung sound. So the lung sound. So when you do healing sounds, healing sounds, there's different layers to healing sound. So healing sounds, when you do it really soft, a soft, almost inaudible or internal sound, you're going to be working with emotions. When you make it loud and audible, you're working with physical things, like you're releasing physical stress or physical pain or physical congestion. So we're going to work, since we're working with the lungs today, you know, when you're shaking, shaking out your wrist and those points, we just stimulated your elbows and your shoulders and your chest. And when you're ready to inhale, remember if you'd like to breathe in through your nose, inhale white pearly light into your lungs. And when you exhale, you're going to exhale out as loud as feels right to you. And the sound is like a buzz, like a B sound. Like, so it goes like this. One more time. And when, when you make it to the end, have a cleansing breath and just slow your movements down. Sensing and feeling this awareness of the chi in your body. And now bringing your hands up to your lungs. Hmm. Bringing your hands to your lungs. And now just sensing, feeling, knowing, however you perceive. Breathing in. Sensing and feeling now your lungs filled with white pearly light from the inside radiating outward. Remember, out through your sides, out through the back of your lungs out through the front of your lungs. And the palms of your hands are also radiating and tending to and paying attention and loving your lungs by giving your lungs white pearly light through your hands. So beautiful. Let's open up our pathways just a little bit more. So bringing your hands up in soft, gentle fist. So let's just come to here. And then when you exhale, when you exhale, curl your spine, open your hands for a second, and then bring your elbows together curling your spine tucking your chin that's the exhale so the inhale is a spinal cord breathing you're opening up your spine you're opening your arms your hands are open and then at the peak they gently close into a fist exhale closing now that you know the movement, you can start to move at your own rate and rhythm. Inhaling white pearly light into your lungs and exhaling out. And you can use the Z sound or that cleansing. <sighs> Z. 
feeling the back of your lungs, the front of your lungs opening and closing. And as you inhale, breathing and pulling that oxygen in and then exhale. Let's just do this one time as we inhale. Now, this time when you exhale, exhale with the Z sound. Z Maybe one more time. can lower your hands sensing and feeling how you're starting to create space in your body hmm. so from here we'll spread our feathers the animal associated with the lungs and metal element and well there's a lot of different traditions some some it's the snake some it's the white tiger and for the system that I'm in, it's the white crane. So we're going to spread our feathers. So spreading your feathers out. Remember your lung element is in your thumb. So really putting your hands in a position where it's not tension. You're not creating tightness, but you are activating feeling your thumb. You're rooted. Your feet are flat on the earth. The top of your head is lifted. Let's come back to the wave breath. Breathing in belly, ribs, chest. And then when you exhale, just lower your ear toward your shoulder and roll your chin to your chest. Staying on that same side, wave breathing. Belly, ribs, chest, rolling your ear across your shoulder to the back. And then exhaling all the way down to your chin, to your chest. White pearly light as you inhale. And you can exhale with the Z sound if you'd like. This is your practice, moving at your own rate and rhythm. This opens up the pathways between your mind, your voice, your heart, your breath, your hands, your actions. In the word inspired, inspiration means inspirited. So breathing in the spirit and creating space for the spirit and then exhaling out. Maybe any sadness or grief. This is the last one on this side. When you exhale, exhale out and inhale, rolling up the other side. Soft, slow. Wave breath.
clearing the pathways. Allowing the intelligence of the energy of the life force into your body. Opening you, creating space. Showing you how to release. One more. And when your chin makes it to your chest, and when you're ready to inhale, inhale up the center line, lowering your arms, sensing and feeling these energy pathways. My arms are naturally floating. So let's use this. Our body's ready to be in the flow. So let's tap into that. So holding this beautiful ball of silver light. Now we're at the time of this recording. It's like a beautiful full moon. You can imagine you're holding this full moon. This movement is a famous movement. It has many names. Two hands lift the heavens. Buddha holds the earth hands holding the sky, making this round. You're rooted. You stand between earth and sky. You're rooted. Top of your head is lifted. Eyes are gentle. Wave breathing. Inhale. Gently let your hands float. And at the peak of your inhale, your palms are facing heaven and then when your body naturally starts to exhale your hands float earthward and there's a gentle soft spiral that your hands do and so when you make it to the bottom your hands are facing up following your breath following your body inhale white pearly light Opening your spine, looking to the heaven. And then when you naturally exhale, your hands float down, smooth, soft. Now you're breathing, you could breathe the entire time through your nose. And you could also do the exhale, like that cleansing, purging exhale. That's up to you. Let the form teach you. Let your body open you. These forms are ancient. They have traveled for thousands of years through cultures, through language, across the planet. There's wisdom in this movement that goes beyond anything I could say. Let the chi teach you, inspire you. As you're navigating your life, how can this simple movement support you right now? And with each passage, your lungs, the front, the back, the sides of your lungs become even more pearly white.
And with each exhale, that residue, that grief, that sadness, that tension finds its way out. The next time your hands float to the top, we're going to transition. We're going to build onto this. So your hands are at the top. Just pause. Make sure your shoulders are soft. Let's come back to our breath. Belly, ribs, chest. Filling here. You can really feel the sides of your lungs. The tops, I feel the tops of my lungs. Where do you feel? What do you feel? So keeping in mind that we are opening ourselves to chi, we're becoming vessels of chi, and we're practicing medicine here. We're creating medicine in our body. With your next inhale, you're going to inhale. And then when your next exhale, keeping your hips facing the direction that they're facing, you're going to gently exhale and turn, rotating from your hips, your low back, your mid back, the top up, right? So you've gotten as far if you, you, I technically could go further. See, I can go further. But what I hear when I go further, my knee moves. I created a bunch of tension right here. If this was a water hose, I would have just put a big kink in the hose. So I don't have to go as far as I can. I go as far as my feet stay rooted, my knees stay in alignment, my shoulders are soft, and I'm not creating any unnecessary tension. There's like a massage, there's an awareness, right? It might be harder to breathe here. It should be harder to breathe because we're compressing a part of our lungs but we're also massaging our internal organs. So find that sweet spot. Have a nice inhale. Really draw that awareness to the back of your lungs. And then when you exhale, exhale, return to center. At center point, regroup, soften your shoulders. When you're ready again, inhale, belly, ribs, chest. And then when you turn, gently turning from your waist, your low back, your mid back, your upper back, get to the point where right before you kink the hose, right before that kink is, for me it's right there, just come a little bit before it so you're open. Soften your shoulders. Breathing in to the back of your lungs. One more inhale. And then with your exhale, return to center. Inhale one more time here. And then with your exhale, let your hands float down. Give yourself a cleansing breath. Just a way to regroup. Let this energy circulate, integrate. I can feel the chi moving through the meridian lines, through my lungs. Let's do that one more time, that same whole passage. So we're going to inhale when you're ready. All the way to the top. And now we're going to exhale, turning from your waist. You can do the healing sound if you'd like. Right before that place where you kink the hose, keep yourself open. Inhale. All the way deep into your belly. And to the back of your lungs. And then exhale, release back to center. Softening your shoulders. Inhale. White pearly light. And then turning, twisting, 
exhaling low back mid back upper back holding your form inhale and then releasing back to center one more inhale and then when your body naturally exhales let your hands float earthward exhaling releasing completely letting your hands naturally float down on their own you don't have to do a thing allowing the movement yeah. mm. And when your hands float down, come into low standing tree posture. So your tree, you're standing between earth and sky. Your roots are deep. Your knees are soft. Your breath. When you breathe in, you can breathe in so much more. You have so much more capacity. Top of your head is lifted. You're calm. Let's do one more variation. So picking a hand, any hand, I'm I'm mirroring you, so I'm using my left hand. Sending my left hand up. And then just grabbing it with the other hand. When I my hand comes up, I turn it toward the ceiling. So my palm's facing the ceiling. And grab it with the other hand. Soften your shoulder. So again, this is where we're opening versus stretching versus as far as you can. Like I could reach up here, but then I'm creating tension. Right, so I, I want this to be soft, and I want this to be soft, and I want this to be centered. So I'm not reaching as high as I can, I'm reaching to where I'm centered. And here, holding, inhaling, belly, ribs, chest, and then when you exhale, just gently lean to the side. Again, we're opening our body, not closing or stretching, because I could go here, I could stretch here, and then this is really open, but this is really condensed. So I'm really only going to where I'm open, so I can be an open channel. And then this is opening up all the sides of your lungs and your lymph. And it's actually massaging your other organs. So let's have a breath here. And it's hard to breathe here because you're cutting off part of your lungs and that's okay. And then when you exhale, return to center to the top, switch your hands, inhale. And then when I inhale, I sort of rise up. And then when I exhale, I gently float to the side, staying open, breathing here a few breaths accessing areas of our lungs. And then exhaling to center. And from, we'll let our hands float down. When you're ready, let your hands float down to low standing tree posture. And then I want to just do one more movement before we close. So we're going to do that same movement. We're going to rise up, left hand up, spiral your wrist so you're pressing the ceiling. Hold your other, with your other hand, hold your wrist. You're in a nice soft round. Go ahead and lean to the side as you breathe. And now just make a circle. You're just making a circle. Make a circle with your waist. Okay. 
It's like you're pulling this hand. And when you make it to the top again, just switch sides. Inhaling up. When you make it to the top, turn your hands over and just let yourself, let your hands float down. Back to low standing tree. Beautiful. Feeling your lungs open, yourself centered, cleared. And now we'll come to completion. Pulling down the heavens, pulling in this white pearly light all the way through your body through the top of your head into your lungs and now letting this healing energy this fresh life force energy circulate all, all the way through your whole body down through the meridians in your legs down through your feet into the earth and just draw in the heavens we're going to circulate this energy just letting your body just move soft and undulating, pulling this healing breath, this simple, refreshing, breath. As your hands float down, you're exhaling. As your hands rise up, Where your mind goes, chi goes. So right now our mind is in just circulating the breath. Circulating this new fresh energy through our cells of our body, through the other organs. We have new spaciousness, new oxygen. And so now we're coming to completion. So we're doing the same movement, but our mind is shifting. So our intention and our attention and our awareness shifts. So we're coming into closing. So same movement, but now I want you to reach up. And then when your hands float down, you're, you're creating your healthy boundary, right? You're sealing your outer edge. It's your healthy boundary down to the front of your body your physical body your luminous body your boundary is your luminous body outside of you and with this next passage you're sealing and becoming aware of the luminous edges to the sides both sides right and left and you're sealing it you're integrating it So you feel contained and protected and safe and and on this third passage you're sealing and becoming aware of your back body tending to sealing your back body all the way down all the way down your legs all the way down and this final one, you are clearing, you are sending this energy down through your central channel and you're settling anything. We released stuff, we stretched and opened. And so letting that whatever needs to still be settled and work through, 
letting that naturally organically find its way earthward all the way down to the earth and everything above your hands is clear and fresh and restored and everything below your hands is traveling earthward and once your hands make it to the earth bring your hands and feet closer bring your hands over your dantian your feet sometimes people like to stand with their feet totally together some people like their feet a little bit apart some people like their heels touching find what you like so you feel you're coming together and just like we started bring your mind bring your breath bring your awareness to your center to your lower dantian Remember, to be centered, you have to bring your mind to your center. And this is a way that we store the energy. We've activated, we've circulated, we've generated, and now we've released, and now the excess, the, the fresh new life force energy that's serving us, we're storing it into our bio battery and into our breath. And that oxygen and that energy is going from our bio battery and from our lungs to every cell of our body. We are centered and complete. So with that, we'll come to completion. Right hand makes a fist. We're going to bow out. This is your yang hand. Your yin hand covers it. And you bring this to your heart. So you could say your, you know, you could see yin and yang is always relative. You could say your inhale, you're drawing in. That's your yin. You're receiving and then you're exhaling outside of you that's your yang so with your breath you're holding yin and yang and you're bringing this to your heart to your lungs to your metal element to your healthy boundaries to your healthy immune system the part of you that's inspired and courageous and so with that we bow forward and we bow to each other. We bow to the practice. We bow to the metal element, to our teachers, our teacher's teachers, and the teacher within. Inhaling that into your body, filling you up with the gratitude, and then stepping out, taking up space, mm, luminous, with fresh breath. Thank you.